Pedro, you're from here and you fight here a couple of times, one and one. Do you like fighting here? Is the crowd something that gets you going? Do you care even if you fight at home? Absolutely. I love fighting my hometown. You know, I, f I love fighting in front of my, you know, my people, my crown. Um, I like to have that, you know, that little bit of support on my back, that people rooting for me, especially like, you know, being my hometown. So I'm very excited for it. And obviously you're coming off a very good result, a quick finish. How do you feel coming into this fight? Is that, do you I like it better? Some people get motivated by losses. They want to come back, they want to avenge it. But some people actually feel better just coming in without that pressure. How are you feeling coming into this one? I feel great. I feel great. Like my last fight too, um, you know, I didn't, I wasn't feeling any pressure. You know, always I, I train my mind to go there and do my best. I tried to put it all the, all, I tried to put it all the pressure like sideways, you know, it's not something that's going to be good for us. And that's the reason that, you know, most of the time I can perform so very well. I, I put the pressure, you know, outside. And before that, you're coming in from a loss, a split decision, sort of controversial. And your only loss before that was to Rafael Assunção in a short notice fight. So if you look at your record, you have two wins, two losses, and one no contest. But there were tough fights or short notice. Or do you feel like your record maybe doesn't really reflect the athlete that you are? Uh, uh, yeah, absolutely not. Um, you know, I, I fought, if you see all, all those fighters that I fought in UFC, you know, there was like very talented fighters. And if you see all my victory was, was all submission knockouts first round. So I'm a finisher, I'm a very aggressive, you know, the, the guy that I lost, that was like, you know, when I accepted the fight with Rafael Sonson, it wasn't a week notice, he was number two in the rank. And then, uh, and the only, and, and after that, the guy that lost was Jimmy Rivera, was, you know, very tough opponent, and there was very close fight. You know, he showed his excuses right now beating like, you know, uh, Yuri Manajo beating Raya Faber that showed that I'm right in this spot right there, you know. And of course, I want to get like, you know, a couple wins in my records, you know, and then and get it back in there, fight with the best in the division. You mentioned you're an aggressive fighter, and you actually said that you saw this uh, matchup with Justin Scoggins on Saturday as sort of the aggressive fighter versus sort of a more passive strategic fighter. Can you elaborate on that a little bit? Absolutely. Uh, like you said, um, you know, I'm aggressive, you know, I, I don't take that much time right there thinking and seeing what it's going to do. I always, you know, the guy that put the pressure, you know, so against Jimmy, against Rafael, if you, if you notice, I was always the guy that was moving forward, fighting the guys that are extremely aggressive. And that's the same strategy that I see for the next fight. You know, I see a, a, a Pedro just like, you know, looking for the knockout and submission the whole fight. You mentioned the knockout. I feel like because you have so many submissions in your record, people just take you for, you know, a ground fighter with a good ground game, a good grappler. But you also, you have a background in boxing. You did some amateur boxing. Was that it? I did. I did. Uh, you know, uh, stand-up is something that I always love to do. That was actually my first martial arts when I started karate. I was six years old. So it's not a lot of people know that. But actually, it's a good thing, you know. It's a good thing that they think that I'm going to try to put the fight on the ground. And, you know, on the other hand, I feel very comfortable fighting standing. And if you see all the submissions I have, there was the, the opponent was trying to take me down. There wasn't me trying to take them down. Or a lot of submissions that I have also, there was all knockdowns that I started with hands. And I could have, I could have finished it like with the ground and pound, but I, you know, I choose to, to go for a submission. That's something that also I feel very, you know, I'm a black belt in jiu-jitsu. I have been trained with the best and like athletes and the world, you know, here in Sao Paulo. And when I moved to LA, I train it like almost, you know, every week with the best in my division right now. And that's uh, Cobrinha. You know, in Sao Paulo right here, I fortunately to train, you know, my Muay Thai coach was GB. And once I moved to the United States, I started training with Rafael Cordero at King's MMA. So I'm very fortunate, you know, to have like a great, people, you know, around me. And, and uh, moving back a little bit, so Justin himself, well, he said that he thinks you're more of a ground fighter and that your stand-up game is a little predictable. So he might be in for a bit of a surprise on Saturday. You know, it's uh, uh, like I said in my other interviews, I always, I, I, uh, I show with my hands, you know. I'm not the guy that I'm going to be talking there. But uh, if you think that way, you know, good luck for him. And... Uh, you have that challenge ahead of you, of course. But then after that, what are your plans? You mentioned you want to get a couple of wins, uh, but you already have names in mind. Would you like to maybe avenge those losses that you have since they were so close? Or not right now. You know, I I don't I don't 
something that I want to just work uh, uh, in myself and fight it like, you know, fighters. And it's whatever UFC, you know, whatever they match me up, I would be ready to fight it. And Justin, he said that he expects this to be a first round finish. What are your, do you have predict predictions? Um, yes, I, I see the same too, but going to my side. No, Justin, he's, uh, um, he's, uh, he doesn't push the pace. And I don't see that, you know, he, I don't see, of course, like, uh, statistic, I don't see that fight is happening the first round, you know, but I really see that it's happening first round, like, my side, you know, and knocking his ass out or choke his ass.